Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Banjo-Kazooie. It's been a while for me, actually. Nah, it doesn't matter for you because I've, I've uploaded one episode a day. But it's been a while for me, it's been a few days. Last episode we finished off Mad Monster Mansion, that took a while. Because I couldn't, I really couldn't find those last ten notes. But uh, in this episode we're going to go into the next new world, the eighth world of the game. And that's going to be Rusty Bucket Bay. Not looking forward to this world, honestly. It's kind of a... It's, it's my least favorite world in the game. It's not terrible, but... I just... I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of it. I re I'm really not. Also, this is that point in the game where I'm like... I don't remember how to do most of these worlds. I mean, I only have two worlds left, so I should be able to do it just fine. But I'm getting to that point where I'm like, I don't really remember. I'll figure it out as I go along. But I'm probably going to be messing up in some way, shape, and form. End form? Or form. So, uh, if you remember last time, we opened up the coffin that was in front of uh, Mad Monster Mansion. And that raised up the water a little bit. So we're supposed to keep raising the water up. So we can actually get into Rusty Bucket Bay. Or at least the, um, uh, what's it called? The portrait to open it up, because uh, we don't have access to Rusty Bucket Bay just yet. The entrance is right there, but we do need to open up the thing. It looks like something's here. Is there something here? Yeah, there is. It just looks weird. It's, it's dark. I believe it's over here. Um, I can think you break this. There we go. There's a secret in here. Uh, actually, no, it's not a secret. This is actually what I need. You need this. So let's, uh, let's just fill it right up, and there we go, Rusty Bucket Bay. I'm not too excited, but... Yeah, it's alright. Into the world of rust and water and other oddities. Now, if I was playing this on the Xbox, I'd be like, oh, you know, Rusty Bucket Bay is not too bad. But when you play it on the N64, it's just way more annoying because of the stupid note thing that's in this game. Well, uh, you know, we, we opened it up. We can, uh, we can take a look and hop in. Take a look and hop in? No, we're just gonna go in. We have to go in. So let's enter Rusty Bucket Bay. Oh, joy. <laughs> Alright. So, you probably, if you know anything about Banjo-Kazooie in this level, you know the, the main, like, it's kind of just a joke at this point. Not really a joke, but it's like just the thing you have to do. Is you have to make your way... Way... You have to make your way to the... Boiler room. And not get eaten by a pipe. Twice. If you're playing this on the Xbox, you really don't have to worry about this, but um... Basically what you want to do is you want to go over here... And bust this door open, and you want to do pretty much everything inside of here first. Uh, this is if you're playing on the N64. I'm just getting my ass kicked. If you're playing this on the Xbox, don't worry about this. It's not because, you know, if you die, you still keep all your notes. But, um, you really want to do this first if you're playing this on the N64. Which I am, so, you know. Gotta deal with this crap. So. Okay, well, that's... <laughs> That's that's a good route. That's that's a, that's a strong example of why you just die instantly. Also, that's the first time I died. Yeah, so I guess I can demonstrate dying. So uh, if you die in a level, all the notes reset. So you gotta collect everything again. That's why I said, hey, do this first. It's very important you do the boiler room first because man's going to kick your ass. It's not really going to kick your ass. It's not too difficult. It's just that the idea behind it. <laughs> like, oh, if you mess up once, you're dead. So let's just quickly go down there. If you go up here, actually, go in that little hole right there, <laughs> you can actually get a uh, honeycomb piece. Don't forget, that. Don't forget that. I think that's the only way you can get it. So I want to be careful going through this. 
Those extra lives are going to come in handy. For once. Little sailor man. I'm going to collect everything down here. Just get everything. I don't know if you can slide off of these if you just walk on them normally. So. I'm going to slow down. Go over here. Mumbo token if you really want the mumbo token. Well, hey, you just passed your best note score. Oh, man, two bottles. I'm just so happy that I did that. Not like it matters. I'm probably going to die again. Oh. No. Oh, okay. There's mumbo tokens all over the place. You only need... I don't know how many are in the last one. But you don't need that many more mumbo tokens. So you should be fine for the most part. There's an extra life up here. Let's grab that. The one time I'm happy about an extra life. So. What I'm going to do here. Is there's two switches here. To uh, slow down this uh, propeller. I want to hit both of them. And then you're going to have to rush back outside. Before we do that. I don't know if these slow down. I think they do. Or no. You have to hit both of the blades. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So there's going to be a lot of standing here waiting. That's that's all that is. That's all that this area is. Stand and wait for things to happen. That's why I don't like it. I do not like this area. This is not, the, this is not a good area. Rusty Bucket Bay would probably been a lot better if it didn't have this. I can't go over there. Probably should have hit that switch. But, uh, oh well. I forgot. Again, it's been a while since I've uh, really done this. I can never get the right camera angle for this. And I'm dead! Yeah! <laughs> no! No, 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 no! Fuck! Just. No! Fuck! I don't. Uh. <laughs> It's the camera angle. Why I can't get the camera angle right? It's just bothering the shit out of me. So the, ma the main problem that I have is just I want the camera angle straight, but I can't get it straight. Look at this. I just want it straight. That doesn't even work. So like I have this like weird fucking angle, and I can't I can't do my jump properly because it bothers. It really does. I can't. <laughs> It, it's extremely bothers me. I, extreme, super extreme. But let's hope, let's try to get both the switches. God, I don't like this. I really don't. It's, the camera angle is all weird again. Uh, God, I don't, I don't like it. All right, well. So now we're at the second switch. Let me just wait for this to uh, rotate again. Okay. There we go. So this stops the fan that's on the back of the boat. So that stops, and now you have a timer. I don't think any of this stops. No, it does. Okay. So that stops. None of this stops. But I don't think those propellers that are right where I was. I don't think those stop. I think that's a different thing. But you want to just sprint all the way back here. And you want to go straight to the back of the boat and do all this crap. Because it's annoying as hell. I don't like it. I just gotta remember where the back of the boat is. Back of the boat. I believe this is the back. Could be wrong. If I'm wrong, well, that sucks. No, this is the back. Alright, I'm gonna go down here. Grab this. That's it. And now, if I think... I think you have to go back down in there. Whatever. We got, we got the note, or the jiggy. So, we're, we're good. I don't... No, I think I'm supposed to. Act, I think I was supposed to get those propeller blades again to uh, get that note that or the jiggy that was inside. I don't remember. But um, 
regardless, uh, this area with the water, because, you know, there's always a thing with the water in these later levels, um, it doesn't hurt you when you go in it, but, as you notice, my air meter is still on the side there. If you're swimming in the water, it will take your air away. And if you dive underwater, it'll take more of your air away. So that's not, that's not fun. Hey, I passed my note score, look at that. Yeah, there's still, there's still more to do inside. It's just that, ugh. I think I'm supposed to, um, hit the fans again. I don't remember. I really don't. I kind of just, like, threw this level out of my brain. I don't think those propellers and it all great, thanks. Thanks for knocking me off the boat. Uh, this is gonna be a fun level, I can tell you that. Oh man, I don't like this level. I really don't. It's just, it's not fun. It's not a fun level. Everything about it is just not that great. But I don't remember if I'm supposed to actually break or hit the buttons again and stop the propeller. I'm supposed to do something else entirely. Alright, so let, let me do that instead. Let me just explore the front of the boat. Let's just try to get as much done as I can so I don't have to worry about it. Like, collecting the notes isn't really that big of a hassle in this stage if you do die because it is a short or a small level. The only, the only stage that I have a problem with, with notes, is the final stage, which, if you don't know anything about it, you'll, you'll, you'll see once we get to it. But it's, it's aggravating, if you do die. But, uh, you can jump in these, uh, uh, vents, or pipes, or whatever. I don't, I'm no, I'm no boat man, I don't know. Grab a mumbo token in there with the uh, help of a uh, golden feather. Unless you want to take damage and grab it, which would probably be better. Oh, also these sailors. I love these sailors, by the way. That are just like in here. They just go, well, hi! Well, hi, nice to see you too. I want to make sure you check everything, because... Oh, there's a knife. Ooh, scary. There's probably, like, weird notes and, like, weird spots. Everything's just weird. See? So you're going to be able to see that. Make sure you jump in and check all these, uh, vents. I gotta jump out. I'm just, like, rearranging my thing. It's, like, hurting my neck. My headphones, that is. Uh, don't touch me. Uh, some vents will actually try to eat you, because, um, of course they do. Of course the vents would eat you. I really don't have, like, a plan for this level. I didn't really think about it. It was kind of just do the level. These will just hop around. So these little toll things, just shoot eggs inside of it. And you get a little path, and then you run down. There's a mumbo token there. I don't even think I can grab that. I don't even know how to grab that. Let's keep going. Now you want to make... Yeah, okay. You want to check all these windows right here. Because I think there's two of them. That are just completely glass. And you can break through them. And you'll enter into the uh, little storage crates. Or huge storage crates. Get them out of here. I believe there's a jiggy right up here. There's a hey, there's an extra life too. Oh, jiggy's over there. There's some notes over there. At least we got the uh <laughs> at least we got another extra life. Just in case I fuck up again. Which I believe I did, because I don't even think I can get back up. I think I have to go all the way around to go back up. I think. And I can go back up from here. Alright, no, that's fine. Get out of here. Leave me alone. Alright, enough trouble already. I already died like three times. Just kept sliding off the thing. 
No, I actually think I actually have to go all the way back around. No? No, 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 no. I don't have to go back around. Screen you, and you can make a win. Gotta make sure to walk the plank slowly. And finally, got another jiggy. According to my recording, I'm 20 minutes in, but you're probably not even going to see all that 20 minutes, because that most of it's going to be edited out. Because Jesus, that took a while to get through that stupid frickin' uh, engine room. I think I called it a boiler room. But no, it's an engine room. Under the scum, you'll breathe your last breath. Yeah. I think there's a way to clean the water, but I don't remember how. I remember how, but I don't remember how. That makes sense. Well, let's just keep going. I want to get a decent chunk of this level done. Probably just like the outer edges of this level. Don't fall into this hole. I'm so close to falling into that hole again. Uh, right over here is a uh, Jinjo. That's on a buoy over there. Can't see it because draw distance. But. Trust me, there's a Jinjo sitting right over there. So let's uh, let's go save it. Hello, Jinjo. He has his own little booty. But uh, oh no, it's our friend. It's our old friend, Snacker. He's back. But I think you need to clean the water first. Don't. Oh my God, why? Ooh, I'm already annoyed. I hate this level. Come on, I was on that for like. Now this is like a little tip on that, and I slid down. Oh, God. It pisses me off. I'm just gonna walk slowly over this little plank here. Okay. Don't dare. Alright. We're okay. Let's keep doing the thing. Should be alright. Collect these notes on this, uh, pool of acid waste I guess acid waste yeah it's a like nuclear waste now can I get back up there thanks I might actually have to grab those mumbo tokens in the boiler room because I I don't know how many I need for the last uh, Transformation. I do. I think I need um, 25 or 20. So I'm gonna keep looking. Keep looking. Shoot this in here. Fill the toll. Pay the toll to get in the whatever. Don't don't say it. Gotta pay the troll toll to get into the boy hole. I said it anyway. Great. On this container here, I don't know. Yeah, there is. Okay. There's just a bunch of crap in here. There's another mambo token. Give me that. I don't know why I said it like mambo token. Don't. Oh well. It's bound to happen. Also, me not getting up there is bound to happen, too. There we go. Okay, grab all this crap. I think there's only notes in here. Which is fine. It's good. No, there's only notes. I want this other... What else is in here? Ah, TNT. No! Eggs are gonna come useful. I think this is like the first time I'm using eggs to really attack something. Whoa! Okay. Well, I got it. Wow, an extra life. Thanks. I guess. It's like here, man, you know, if you die again, here's an extra life. It'll make you feel better. Yeah, 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 whatever. 
out. Sure it does. Sure it does, Jimmy. And then uh, there's that other toll that we can't go over, can't go over there just yet. But this other crate we're gonna go into, we just got going from the top. Just got some dudes locked in here. Who knows how long they've been locked in here? Why? 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 A lot of these guys. Well, hi, and goodbye, Mr. Man. Is there nothing in here of value? No, there's something in here, right? There's a mumbo token. There's a Jinjo, I hear him. I hear you, Jinjo. I don't know where you are, but I hear you. Jinjo. Jinjo, where are you? I will come and save you. I don't know where you are, but I hear you. I hear your screams of anguish. I am here to save you from your crate prison. Oh, there's uh, that back there. Where is the ginger? Oh, there he is. Hello. Yay! I got him. Three gingos already. I think all the gingos are outside, like on the edges here. I could be wrong again. I think there might be one in the boat. Most of them are outside. Okay. So now we have to go on this crane. So I think the only way over onto that side is to activate the crane over here. Which I think I can go from just here. I think there's a ladder. Or a spring bad. Spring bad? Spring pad. Alright, it's one of these. Cross the side a little bit and then go up here. Some more notes. Hopefully I can collect all the notes before I die again, but can't keep any promises. Oh yeah, it opens up that. Opens up that cage and we gotta sprint. Gotta go quick, gotta go quick, gotta go quick. Quick like bunny, quick like funny bunny. Jump! Ah! Alright, fell into it. It's okay, it's okay. There we go. Third jiggy. Third jiggy, man. And it closes back up. Because, of course, it would. Uh, I'm probably going to do a couple more things, and I'll end it because I don't want this to be too long. Even though it probably won't be too long. But it's too long for me because I've been sitting here doing this. You're just seeing an edited down version. But, uh, oh wait, actually, I think this is the room. Oh, there's a jiggy in here. I think you just break this open. Yeah. Okay, well, this is not the, uh, the room I was thinking of, but, hey, there's a jiggy. Right in one of the windows. It's not always inside of this ship. See if there's anything else in here. Nothing in the weird corners. No, nothing like that. I will say that the going inside the boat is pretty cool, but I don't know, just like the outside crap and some of the other stupid, dumb poop stuff you do. I do not like it. I do not like it, Sam. I am. So it's very dark. I don't know if you can break one of these. Yeah, you can. You can break this one. It's dark, but you can break it. Get out of here. I'm too short. You cannot hit me under your counter. More Ecombokums. I think you only need 20 or 25. I don't remember. Didn't I not kill you? Okay. Did I not? Yes. Um, nah, there's nothing else. Uh, there's more stuff to go into. Let's see down here. I think you can break this one. Break one of these. No, I can't break that one. Okay. Um, can I go into you? I can. Let's see what's in here. TNT. Dynamite. 
does not turn out as well as I thought it would. Get him out of here. Okay, good. Grab another mumbo token. Mumbo tokens, I'm kind of glad I'm getting them all. Because I don't know how many uh, the next world has. But I don't know if it's a ton. Ow. There's a slight delay to those guys, and it annoys me. Ah. Get up there. Please get up there. Just die, please. Thank you. Go away. Nobody likes you. Stupid freaking dumb level. I don't like it. This whole level is just me complaining about the level. It's like, yeah, we get it. We get it. You hate the level. Say something different. Ugh. Just, ugh. I can't see. It's dark. It's dark. I can't see anything. Well, um, I'm a little, I'm a little ahead on time here, so if this window doesn't break, I'll end it. Okay, no. So I'm going to end it right here. Um, we did some amount of stuff today, I guess. I don't know, I'm going to have to look back at the footage and see, like, how much we actually did. But I think we did a decent amount. So next time on Banjo-Kazooie, I'll probably finish up Rusty Bucket Bay. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but I'll try. See you guys next time.